Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Chairman and members of the Organizing Committee of the Brave Week for Mixed Martial Arts at the Wadi Palace, along with the Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports, Mr. Ayman Al Mu'ayyad, and various supporters from ministries, government authorities, and various public and private sector institutions. His Highness welcomed the guests and congratulated them for the big success that the Brave Week has witnessed. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain has the capability and potential to organize various athletic events regionally and internationally. His Highness praised the efforts of all the organizers, which His Highness said put Bahrain on the map and added that the organizing committee played a key role in preparing the event in a professional manner which has garnered the praise of the International Federation for Mixed Martial Arts. His Highness said that Bahrain is about to witness a new edition of the event on November 9th to 15th later this year, which His Highness said requires the cooperated efforts of all. His Highness then honored the chairman of the organizing committee as well as its members and sponsors for supporting the event in its 2018 edition. His Highness also received a gift from the chairman of the committee, Mr. Adil Aziz Al Khayyat.
The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Chairman Board of the Bahrain Polytechnic University, Sheikh Hisham Al Khalifa, at the Wadi Palace, along with a number of organizers of the Khaled bin Hamad Intelligence Innovation Award. His Highness Sheikh Khaled welcomed the guests and expressed appreciation for their efforts in organizing the competition. For the award, which is among His Highness's initiatives that support the scientific field in the country. His Highness said that the award is meant to build upon the achievements of the education sector, which have materialized thanks to the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness said that the award intends to help the youth to become qualified to use the latest technology in the service of Bahrain and its people. His Highness praised the wide engagement that the second iteration of the award has prompted among public as well as private schools and university students who displayed the capabilities and potential of the Bahraini youth in serving Bahrain's developmental goals. For his part, Sheikh Hisham expressed thanks and appreciation for His Highness's support and affirmed that the organizers will carry on to organize a third iteration of the award, which will help to implement His Highness's vision for the scientific field and will support the scientific community in the kingdom. The Council of Representatives delegation to the Second International Conference for the Development of Parliamentarians in Russia, headed by the Council Speaker Fauzia Zainal, concluded its participation. The delegation participated in the forum's discussion sessions, which discussed a variety of issues that included the role of parliaments in enhancing security and legislation on digital economic development. The delegation also presented Bahrain's experience and its achievements in all fields in roundtable discussion sessions, which included poverty reduction and other issues. A conference entitled Let's Work Together to Achieve Legislative Aspirations was held under the patronage of the chairman of the Shura Council, Mr. Ali As Saleh, with over 300 attendees aimed to promote engagement between the council and the public. At the end of the conference, the Shura Council affirmed that after 17 years of legislative work, new horizons have been opened to allow for cooperation between the council and the Council of Representatives, on the one hand and the public on the other which aims to achieve the highest possible standards of democratic and representable responsible freedom as affirmed by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa while establishing and maintaining legislation that promotes development in all fields. The event concluded by taking note of a number of important suggestions that the legislative authority have prepared in partnership with the attendees from Bahrain and abroad.